The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me. And it doesn't matter where you're at. You could be in the Ukraine. Probably don't want to be, though. Or you could be here listening to me at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And, well... Uh, they've scared air of the bejesus out of everyone. And we're probably in this kind of feedback loop now that'll last for a little while. And that is that uh, a lot of these highly margined uh, ETFs are going to have to continue to sell every time the market pulls back a little bit, which creates a little bit more selling. And of course, uh, you just never know when the margin calls in these big uh, ETFs or uh, not so much ETFs, but hedge funds uh, where people were change, uh, chasing uh, returns is going to give up. Uh, it's not so much a technical issue as a money issue. And in, in this or in previous times, you had uh, probably, I'm going to say probably the closest thing that comes to this was the October, November time frame of 1998. I was just getting started as full-time trader. Uh, and uh, there was a thing called long-term capital management who uh, all thought that uh, uh, they had the, uh, the formula that would make money uh, in, uh, uh, in any kind of weather. And you had people that were Nobel Prize winners and everybody all ate it up and uh, guess what? It's just like every other time someone has some kind of get rich scheme that depends on massive amounts of borrowing. Uh, things don't qu quite go your way for about five minutes, and that's all it took to blow up long term capital management. What did they have? Two, three Nobel laureates on the thing? I forget. Um, certainly had a, a lot of smart people but you know what i've seen probably the smartest guy in the world that i'll ever meet uh, ever uh yeah i'll probably ever meet uh, or met yeah yeah past tense uh and uh he was uh dumb enough uh, to go with uh, us to las vegas for a trade show and try to martingale system uh at the uh at the uh, blackjack tables so you know what they're just because people are smart doesn't mean that they're infallible and in fact generally it's harder for them to admit that they're wrong and uh it took oh, about a day for the smartest guy that i've ever met a guy that could do the job of seven other engineers uh he was just that smart uh but a little autistic but not quite as autistic as his wife who was really uh criminally and negligently insane he was a nice guy but eh, man talk about focused i have yet to meet anybody that was smart and focused a, a deadly combination but uh you know they don't make many of those folks as uh my boss who uh i don't know where he's ever gone to he last i saw him he headed off to uh spain to retire in 2003 or four but he said dave you don't hire uh if you're going to have a, a competition for a high jump what you don't do is hire seven people to jump one foot you hire one guy to jump seven feet he also said uh seven uh, he said nine women can't have a, a baby in one month when i kept on bugging him on why stuff wasn't done uh he always had some kind of good uh could uh, come back, uh, but it didn't stop me from uh, saying, uh, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Uh, another very smart guy. 
uh, almost all of the people that I was associated with in that business uh, were expats from England who all left uh, because of the uh, uh, literally no chance of getting ahead in England after the 1960s socialist revolution in the country where they were literally going after everyone. And, of course, uh, the first hop was to come over to Canada, where you at least had a chance. And then, of course, uh, move to the United States uh, once you made your money. Because uh, if you just left there, they just eventually take it all away from you. So there was no real reason to work that hard. But uh, very smart guys. But, uh, eh, even the smartest guy in the world doesn't know that a martingale system will eventually roll snake eyes. See what I did there? Another mixed metaphor. Uh, <laughs> educated idiots. Well, I have to say, it is uh, it is interesting. Anyway, uh, a lot of people talking about uh, what's going on in the Ukraine and stuff. Um, I, I wrote this in my newsletter this morning, and I'll share it with you. And I follow some people that are very good at making predictions, not so much uh, straight dogma. And they all have kind of the handicap that uh, Putin and uh, Xi Zing, whatever his name is from China, are all trying to get us all involved in uh, in uh, the Ukraine so that he can sneak down there and take over Taiwan since we probably can't uh, go with both of them. And, of course, uh, the real uh, long-term damage to the country would be if they invade Taiwan. We couldn't have uh, products for maybe a year or two. Imagine if they sabotaged uh, the place where 80% of all our chips uh, either have a part made uh, or a uh, some part of the supply chain. Uh, and, of course, uh, from what I've read, the Taiwanese government has all those big manufacturing plants all wired so if uh, they did come in, they'd blow them all up. But uh, you know what? It, it's a big country uh, comparatively to a lot of places, not big uh, in U.S. standards. But um, the best explanation is that, that they're trying to get everybody all hot and bothered. Uh, the same neocons that uh, people decried over the last 20 years for getting us involved in uh, the Mideast and Afghanistan are the same ones screaming that we should go into uh, the Ukraine. Of course, there's a long history with our current president and his son in Ukraine. Well, we really don't know what's going on there. I don't know how that affects uh, the whole thing. We know that uh, there's more than uh, enough out there to say that it was uh, more than a a little bit fishy. I'm talking tuna boat uh, stuff. So there's a lot of unknowns, and generally that is problematic. Uh, the markets almost always sell first and ask questions later. Again, like I said, uh, there's a kind of a rolling auction feel to what's going on here. Things slow down for a little while, and then they start up again. Um, we're going to probably need a couple of days of going sideways to know that uh, any of the margin calls for these big folks like uh, Kathy Woods and those folks is done is is done. anyway I'm uh, going after my own grammar Bye. we'll be back in a Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, oh, we're going to do a little history and then we'll move on. It's apropos on this day. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. Oh, what is this? Uh, now it's uh, 60 plus uh, 40 plus 1. 60 plus 40. Uh, 40 plus 20 plus 1. So what is that, 22? 21, 22 years ago. Something like that, actually, in 1961. Uh, there was probably one of the most famous speeches by Eisenhower. Uh, most people believe it, for, uh, remember it for the warning of the uh, uh, military-industrial complex. Uh, but there was a little bit more to the speech, and a lot of people are talking about it lately in technology. Uh, this is part of it. Today, the uh, solitary inventor tinkering in his shop has been overshadowed by task forces of scientists and laboratories and testing fields. Eisenhower warned, partly because of the huge costs involved, the government contract becomes virtually a substitute for intellectual curiosity. Why continuing to respect uh, discovery and scientific research, he said, we must also alert to the equal and opposite danger that uh, public policy could find itself in because it's captive to a cadre of scientific te uh, technological elite long before Google and these other folks. Um, but, uh, yeah, very present. And, of course, uh, one of the reasons why I talk about the vaccine industrial complex very often here, because it did remind me a great deal of this speech. But, uh, of course, uh, a lot of people wonder if uh, military, CIE didn't have anything to do with uh, bumping off uh, JFK. Well, it, uh, we'll probably really never know. Maybe in, Maybe one day. They're still hiding documents about that day, which is kind of weird. Uh, hard to think that anything could still be secret after all that time, but you never know. Anyway, on this day in 1961, we got a warning. 
And I think it uh, was uh, uh, very predictive. I'm going to call uh, Eisenhower a little bit of Nostradamus on this day in 1961. Okay, uh, what else do we have out here? Let's go ahead and start getting into some charts and see how these things are holding up. As I said, kind of a rolling auction a great deal. Where did the chart go? Come on, Mr. Chart. Come on up. There you go. I know you can do it. Okay. Uh, Microsoft, although it has come off the top, I wanted to see how it was doing, um, whether or not it could hold 300. Uh, last tick I see out here was what? Oh, let's turn that off. We can get back to this, and I think it's control. Oh, right. Nope. Control W. Yeah. Um, last we have out here is three hundred dollars and ninety-seven cents uh, on Microsoft. So holding that three hundred dollar level is the volume blowout. No, but like I said, the rolling auctions uh, continue to be. I think uh, Tom O'Brien once said these things can be kind of like a paper cut. Man, they hurt and they're painful. There's not a lot of blood. It just never quits. And uh, that's always the problem when you look at these. But uh, Microsoft, not so much there. Had some questions on Netflix. Uh, and one thank you that said uh, early in the week on why I hated these things, uh, the streaming services. Uh, I think that we talked about it, what, is Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday? Uh, on why I wasn't a big fan of either Netflix or Disney. I thought their expenses are going to go way up. Uh, certainly on Netflix, uh, we talked about maybe some of the content alienating some of its viewers. I think there's a, uh, a lot of ideas in Hollywood that if you just shove the dog's nose in its poop, uh, that it won't go there anymore. We all know that doesn't work. My dad was big in, a big fan of saying he who is convinced uh, against his will is of the same opinion still. I think there's a little bit of that. Uh, but certainly uh, they've lost subscribers. They're raising their price. I don't think it's going to do them much of any good. Um, did I think it was going to be quite this bad? No. But, you know, you get out on a bad day and you say something horrible, uh, you're going to get punished uh, double not double top secret, but just double, and it's not going to be secret out here. But uh, yeah, kind of holding 400 now. But uh, is that going to change anytime soon? No. Like I said, a lot of the wind is at the uh, in the face of the streamers, and we talked about how many shows actually are now being written. We have 600 shows that are written as serial uh, being serialized. So each one needs uh, some decent writers, and we know the talent pool is not that deep. Uh, Hollywood, Hollywood is mostly uh, the shallow end, where maybe there's a few room for a few, but not room for all. Uh, and they become rather formulaic, kind of like the bad uh, movies that my dad would see and tell me about going to uh, the movie theater where you'd watch the serials, like uh, was it Lone Ranger and... Uh, I think he had some other ones that he'd watch. Remember always telling me about uh, uh, about number one and number two son from uh, Charlie Chan. But uh, I think that was a serial. Or maybe they were longer versions of that. But he said he would go watch that. Uh, anyway, uh, everything's old is new again. And I don't think there's a whole lot different. The, the real question is you knew Netflix had some issues. Uh, we talked about some of the reasons why I really disliked uh, what uh, Disney had been doing. Um, we talked about that earlier in the year with them uh, molesting uh, some of the better properties like Star Wars. Um, there is some signs. Uh, what am I doing here? There are some signs that Disney is getting out of its own way and firing the people. Uh, that uh, turned uh, the Disney saga, or the Disney, the Star Wars saga, into such a horrible property after paying four and a half billion dollars for it. And of course, the only thing good since the four and a half billion dollars uh, was something that they're trying to ruin, which was uh, the Mandalorian. Actually, a fairly interesting series that I kind of liked. But uh, you know what? 
Disney finally getting to the point where it is at support. That's going to be about 135. You got down 136.63 and kind of bounced a little bit. But you do have a fairly nice uh, uh, gap higher that goes back to November 9th of 2020. That had 35 million shares. Uh, to, 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 let's see. What am I doing here? Uh, that had 35 million shares. You got 24. So you are starting to get into the part where maybe you might see some little folks at. Uh, anytime uh, you start going higher, the resistance level would be 152. You've got a triple gap up at 70. So that kind of looks to me like uh, as forward, if this does end up being 135-ish, 130 support, problematic. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we are back. We've got a lot of good emails here, so we're going to get into that at the, uh, at the bottom of the Power Trading Hour. Uh, first question out here is from Eddie. He says, do you think uh, good earnings from Apple next Thursday uh, can save the NASDAQ? Well, the old saying is that it's a market of stocks, not a stock market. There are stocks doing well today uh, that are up, believe it or not. Um, this is a great time to be looking at them. If they can be up, there's a reason why. And you should be watching the incredibly well. 
are incredibly hard. Um, I always think of Sherlock Holmes and the dog that did not bark uh, that solved his uh, case. And that's it. If, uh, if the dogs aren't barking today, uh, you know there's something going on. Of course, in that story, the uh, dog did not bark because it knew the folks. It barked at anybody it didn't know. So it knew the crime was done uh, by somebody that was known to be in the house before. But it is the same thing. So the question, can Apple save the NASDAQ? It just depends. Right now, as I said, I don't think this is anything specific to companies like Microsoft or Apple. I think this is a rolling auction by people that were highly leveraged. Uh, when you come out of it now, uh, you now make every sale makes uh, other folks uh, on the edge have to sell. And at some point, this does burn itself out like a forest fire. Eventually, everything is consumed for people that were way out on the edge. Uh, and uh, as uh, Buffett says, uh, you can tell who's swimming without any bathing suit when the tide goes out, and that's it. But uh, generally, I'm not a big fan of uh, having any kind of margin. Uh, and he says, uh, if you really think a China uh, invasion of Taiwan is an imminent possibility, uh, should you be out of the market completely if I'm a tech heavy? Well, I'm going to say there's probably a lot of money to be made, but the risk is high. Now, since everybody is so bearish, buying calls out here is probably a way of doing it. That limits your risks. But I've said that two weeks ago that I would not be long any tech stocks particularly uh, unless I was long options. I mean, the semis, that kind of stuff. Um, I am long one tech stock now. Uh, it is uh, probably going to do better the, the worse things it get, which would give you an idea. Uh, kind of the same thing. You can look at gold. But uh, you don't have to be invested all the time. But if you're going to be invested in risky markets and you see stocks uh, like Netflix getting a 20% haircut in a day, not giving you an opportunity really to get out, the thing to do is be in options. Uh, I had a losing option position this week. Uh, the key to that um, is having one that, you know, if you make 200% on one, you can have two uh, total losers if you do your positioning right, and you'll be okay. You'll still be back. And a lot of times I go for three or four times in options, but uh, uh, this is kind of a market where if you get 200% or 250% or 300%, as one, I think somebody told me they made 300% on the, the uh, GDXJ calls this week. Um, they even did a little better than me then. But if you're in that range, you can have a lot of losers and still be a net winner, uh, even being wrong. So I would say that uh, you're probably going to find calls pretty cheap uh, with no sign of a bottom. Uh, and that is a way of reducing your risk. Now, because they're cheaper, you don't buy 10 times as much. Options, repeat after me, and, and, and this goes for everybody in the den, options are to reduce risk, not take more on. Just because it's three bucks and it, three bucks gets you a $200 company, the most you can, if you do it right, position sizing right, the most you're gonna lose maybe is three bucks. That's a, a percent and a half. You can take a lot of hits. Now, you're not going to get as much back, but we'll say that occasionally you get 500% winner or 400% winner or a 300% winner. It gives you a lot of times not to be 100%, uh, a, not, a, uh, uh, not win every single game of the year uh, and make money even being wrong in a market that is problematic. Now, do I think that everything's going to run right back up to the top? No. But I think there's some opportunities. Uh, we've got more shorts in the market now than any time in about almost seven years, maybe six and a half years. That generally ends up in every other bear market that I've ever seen and the ones that came before the ones that I've seen have incredibly sharp, incredibly quick uh, moves. And my guess is the, the same folks that decry leverage uh, to the uh, upside 
and are shorting everything because of the PEs will be the same people that are probably leveraging themselves to the downside, and they'll get whopped up. That is the history of people. They get greedy and they do stupid things in the stock market. As I said, uh, I don't mind margin, but I wouldn't go home margined. Uh, so you got to be out by what uh, three fifty nine every day if you're going to do anything, or you can go a little deeper with options. But again, options are reduce risk, not take more on. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. But uh, yeah, I mean, if they don't invade, the people that are going to make money uh, and have proper risk reward are going to be buying calls. Uh, against those Taiwanese companies if things uh, change. And it's unclear what would, but uh, my belief and the belief of many people that I follow that have been right, not just uh, they have a particular dogma I believe in, but a history of being right in counting uh, in uh, predicting geopolitical events, I uh, generally think that the, the whole thing is to get us sucked in uh, to... Uh, the Ukraine, so that uh, China can go do its business. And of course, uh, in the end, uh, both Russia and China would get what they want. Um, so that's it. Now, if you are unwilling to buy calls or don't know how to do it, uh, this is probably not a time to learn. But um, I would say not, not, a, not a time to learn, but not a time to actively practice it, but certainly watching the market at this point would be very edificacious, if I can dig up yet another word that I don't know if it's truly a word or not. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, Eddie. Okay, question of the day. Well, I don't know if of the day, but it would be good. Tim asks, uh, where is a, a good uh, bid, a uh, good place to look uh, in Shopify? Uh, Shopify at, uh, I mean, uh, you didn't quite get there. Eh, the problem is it's a little fuzzy. You've got a couple of lows, one at uh, 839.40 back on September 17th, 2020. You've got another one back on November 10th. But I think a great deal of this was uh, pandemic related. I think you could easily get back to this gap that's at about 780. And there's even one at 600, uh, way over the tips of their skis in this. So I think we have a little bit of time in this one. We'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. back oh man i'm hoping i can find it oh, i'm careful oh no. um hang on just a second someone made a copy uh, a comment about uh options uh, let's see if i can find it how do you spell palooza pal is it two l's palooza as the palace uh, P A L O O Z A. Maybe someone can find it here. No, can't find it. Uh, maybe I can find the options in this. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, 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 okay. Yeah. I can't find it. I'll just do it off the top of my head. Uh, one of the books that changed my life uh, in the way I thought of things uh, was uh, Fooled by Randomness by Nassim Tlaib. And he posited a, a thing. He worked with Jimmy Rogers and, and George Soros. And uh, he had a comment that, uh, that uh, Jimmy Rogers uh, once had said that he did a study, found out that all uh, that 80 percent of options went uh, unexercised, i.e. out of the money. And therefore, the thing to do is always uh, sell options, not buy them. Uh, and that works in the short term. Uh, but Nassim has proved over the long term uh, that you can get yourself into some pretty horrible positions being an options seller. Not saying that selling options is a, uh, a problem, but if they're that horrible, then you want to be an option seller. Nassim turned that argument on his head. Who's a good uh, trader? Some guy that makes a little bit uh, going a long time and then takes, makes a little bit on every trade, has a fairly good batting average, and then takes a giant loss like they probably have in the last week or two. Or someone who buys options way out of the money and occasionally gets a 50 to 1 or 101 um return and over a number of years makes billions and billions of dollars on that and again um, the question is if you want to win a little uh, infrequently but when you win make massive amounts of money you do that with asymmetrical bets that is you bet a little again you don't go whole hog in on way out of the money puts and calls but uh, the thing is that over time, Nassim has shown uh, 
that uh, he can make billions and billions of dollars. Uh, and he makes that money infrequently. But it all eventually will come to him as the market has uh, basically 100-year floods every 10 years. Uh, there's a pullback every year in the market, at least of about, what, 5% or so? And nobody in a bull market is ever really set up for it. There will be people that are way over on the edge. And you're going to find stocks that just give it up. My guess is today he's once again raking in billions of dollars on these companies that had massive PEs and not a real business. As Peloton goes, uh, I saw people arguing that it's a buyout candidate. Yeah, maybe it is. But it was never worth what it was. The history of exercise equipment is that uh, for the first month, people use it, and then it becomes a glorified hanger for clothes uh, for years to come until it gets sold to something, somebody else. But it is one of those things that seems almost predictable as the change in seasons. Um, and so that's it. The question is, do you need to make money today? Do you need to always be making or feeling like you're making money? Can you never take a loss? And the question is, will you take a bunch of very small losses to one day cash in? Uh, but since 1987, when Nassim uh, raked it in big, he's never done anything but look in the rearview mirror. People have always told him what to do. There's a great part in his book. Uh, where he's sitting in with a bunch of people that he thinks, uh, and he actually said he knew all of these guys would be out of the business soon enough. And I think it happened in 1992. They were all going way out on a limb, and they would drag him into uh, meetings, and he, he'd say, uh, the market's up uh, 50 points. What are you going to do, uh, Nassim? He says, I'm going to sell, uh, I'm going to buy more puts. They're mispriced. And, you know, the people quit asking him to the meetings because these guys were nothing but rabid bulls and wanted to hear what he had to say and uh, couldn't get the idea out of its head that there's a big difference. Uh, and what he said Jimmy Rogers didn't understand, which is uh, there's a big uh, difference between the money you get back and the frequency. The asymmetric huge wins occasionally in a market opposed to uh, always trying to be a little bit right to the point that the market comes and clubs you like a uh, baby uh, seal. And he, of course, his argument is much more toward guys that are hedge fund managers. And as I said, uh, probably a month ago, uh, that uh, the more that I heard about Kathy Woods, the more it sounded like one of the traders he was talking about in his book. But that book came out, I think, out in 2002 or three, and changed my view of options a great deal so that I didn't have to be a winner all the time in him. Um, he's a winner every few years, but I think you can make it to the point where a user that you're a winner every few months on options. Uh, and you, as long as you understand that you can't go in and make 10 or 20 or 30 percent on options, they have to be always. You have to look at them at, at the uh, as the home run ball and why uh, two or three hundred percent in the gold uh, eat, uh, gold um, options we had this week will offset a miracle, or a miracle, a, uh, a huge amount of bad trades. And uh, over time, you just have to be able to know that you can strike out at the plate. A lot of people can't do it. That's why baseball is such a hard game. You go through and you strike out three times in a row. You think you're going to strike out the third time? It's a mental game, and a lot of people can't ever get past it. But if you can strike out four times and then hit a home run, it is a uh, something else. Someone says, uh, let's take a look at Docu, and we will. D-O-C-U. And, uh, yeah. Bear mark. A lot of these things were at the end of the pandemic. So these things can come back to the price. But, uh, yeah, be ready for that. Uh you live by the sword, you die by the sword uh, on the back of the
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. I do not see dojis on a weekly becoming the middle of a move higher very often. Uh, that is on a daily where the, uh, where the uh, uh, dojis tend to make a uh, midpoint on the way up. I don't see any reason to sell XOM. As I said, you got the government behind you limiting the amount of energy we produce. Uh, and as long as that continues to be the policy... Uh, until someone yells uncle and says uh, gas prices are so high that we're going to get wiped out in the elections, which could happen. Uh, unless they change that policy, I think you have to sit on your hands. I don't see anything out here that says that you should sell Exxon. Uh, but, you know, put a stop back in. But I think it probably starts heading up next week again. Uh, I wanted to go back to this part in the book because I did find it during the break. Visibly, the statistic that 90% of all options position loss money is meaningless, i.e. the frequency if we don't take into account how much money is made on average during the remaining 10%. If we make 50 times our bet on average when the option's in the money, then I can safely say and make the statement that buying options is another way to go to the plazo, which is a uh, like the rich house, rather than the poor house. 
Mr. Rogers seems to have gone a very far, uh, very far in life for someone who does not distinguish between probability and expectation. Strangely, he was a partner of George Soros, a complex man who thrived on rare events. More on him later. Such rare, uh, one such rare event is the stock market crash of 87, which made me as a trader and allowed me the luxury of becoming involved in all manner of scholarship. Nero, the smaller house in Chapter 1, which I said, kind of sounds like Kathy Woods had to get out of harm's way by avoiding exposure to rare events. Mostly a defensive approach. We'll talk more about this next week. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We will return like uh, MacArthur to the Philippines on Monday.